Email marketing is something huge for creatives. And so I have tried ActiveCampaign, ConvertKit, uh, MailChimp, I've tried them all. And I will tell you that Flowdesk has been continually one of my favorites for many different reasons, which we'll get into. But today I wanna help you get started with Flowdesk. I wanna give you a behind the scenes review of the pros of it, the cons, um, any feature updates that they're doing as a Flowdesk educator. Um, it's always cool to pull back the curtain and see how the company is growing and what new features they're unveiling. And so that's what we're going to get into today. So Flowdesk has been one of my favorite email providers. One, because as a creative in a creative industry, uh, something that's really important is how email templates look whenever they're going out. I want them to be really on brand and visually appealing because that's the nature of our business. And that's the nature of a lot of creative business. Businesses. They're led by uh, by visuals, and so that's one of the main reasons why I really love Flowdesk. But another reason why I really like Flowdesk is because it doesn't matter how many people are on your list; it is always the same amount. And I also I have a discount code if you want to look below. It's nineteen dollars a month for forever if you sign up with our discount code. So thank you Flowdesk for providing that. And if you're interested in checking it out, because I really think that. If you're trying to find out which one is right for you, you have to get in there and set up your account and see um, if it works because somebody else may like Active Campaign or ConvertKit. It may be the best fit for them. But as a creative business owner, Flowdesk has outbeat them all. Um, and I want to show you how to set up your account and the five tips that I have for setting up your account inside of uh, Flowdesk. So let's go ahead and head on over there. So whenever you first set up your account and log in, this is what it's going to look like. And the first thing that you're going to want to do is come into your setup and set everything up. Um, one would be the branding setup. This one is really important so that you don't have to continually look up like your hex code colors. You can come in here and put in all of your hex code colors. I don't know, I just put in a random color. And then you'll always have them for any of your email templates. And so um, that one, they're like, no, that, that doesn't exist. Okay. Um, okay, so I'll just put in two brand colors. You have to put in your company address. Uh, that is required. And what's also cool is you can put in your Instagram and then I'll show you, it gets added to, uh, like I was saying, a visual brand. So set up your branding. That's always the first thing that you want to do. The next thing that you're gonna wanna do is set up your sending address. And so the name, and this is where it will come whenever you send out an email address, it'll say um, inside the email from, and it will have your name. So you wanna set up if you are known as a company or as a single uh, service provider, put in your name there, something that, that your list will recognize. And then you wanna verify that as well. It's gonna be the same if you go to domain setup. You want to uh, set up your domain verification as well. This is going to help your emails land in more inboxes rather than the spam or promotional tab. So make sure that you get your domain verified. So those are the first things that you're gonna wanna do is get everything set up um, and then also your opt-in setups as well. So if you're doing a double opt-in, you can come in here and edit that. If you're doing a thank you page, you can come in here and edit that so that all of your double opt-in emails and your thank you pages will be globally set up no matter when you're, you're sending one out, they'll all look the same and branded to you. So that's the first thing is setting that up. You wanna get that started that way. The next thing that you want to do, if you are adding in subscribers from another platform, you can go to your audience and they have what's called segments. Okay, so whenever you're coming in here, all of your, your all of your subscribers that you upload are going to be in the all subscribers. What's gonna be really helpful for you to do, just getting your account set up the correct way right away so you don't have to redo it, is going ahead and segmenting out your subscribers. So it will end up looking something like this. We have all of our subscribers segmented out as far as where as they came from. So if they came from a summit, if they came from a workshop, um, if they downloaded some sort of freebie, 
because this will help us get to know the followers or get to know, excuse me, get to know the subscribers and only send them relevant information. If somebody came and they were interested in our weekly planner, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be a wedding pro, but if they were a book more weddings summit and they came from that freebie, then more than likely they're a wedding pro and we can send them relevant information. So we'll end up looking like that. So whenever you're adding in a new segment, if you can name it, like maybe they're past clients of yours. So you can name it clients. You can choose whatever segment color. And then whenever you come in here, you can upload those as just into that segment. So setting up your account the right way the first time will save you a lot of headaches if you don't set it up correctly and then you start sending out random emails or uploading people and they're not segmented out correctly. Um, so just do that the first time. Then you also have access to what's called folders. And so if you do weekly email series, you can put them all in one folder. If it's part of a campaign, maybe you're doing like a giveaway, uh, setting up your folders is going to be really helpful as well. Just making sure that your account is organized is going to be helpful. And then once you get all of that completed, you're ready to finally send out your first email. So you can come over here, hit new email, and then you're gonna have access to all of these beautiful templates inside of their library. What I wanna show you is if you're sending out a weekly email or something that it's on a reoccurring basis, how you can save it so that you don't have to continually come to a template and then um, update it every single time. So over here you have the up my email game, um, you have share news, welcome, make money. So this is like depending on what it is that you wanna say. We'll just do a share news one and I'll show you um, how to update it. So let's just click on one. We're gonna customize it. So once it comes up, and say you're gonna be sending this every single week with like different content from your blog. What you can do, so let's update it so you can see, we're gonna change out the block color. So go over here to block. We wanna change it to one of our branded colors. We're gonna do the same. We're gonna change this to one of our branded colors. Okay, I have to change this because that's hurting my eyes. Let's see, we want to change out this font color, we'll change it to white really quick. Okay, that's better. Now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna hit this save to favorites. You can name it, so we'll name it weekly newsletter. You can add a description if you have like a VA or somebody coming in and you wanna describe like what the, why would they would use this template or who to send it to, um, then hit save. And then if we go back to, to Flowdesk, you'll see this draft right here. I'm going to um, delete it and then you'll see. So now if we're coming in here to send out another email, we'll hit new. Then you can click my favorites and you're gonna see that, that newsletter right there so that you don't have to build out a new newsletter every single week or update it to your brand colors you always have that favorite right there to customize and reuse over and over again. So that's really helpful. The other thing I wanted to show you is if you add in um, a Instagram block, so they have these different blocks that you can use. If you add in an Instagram one, if you connect it, it will actually show uh, your Instagram in live view. So that's cool. I don't know any other pro provider that does that. Um, and then the last thing is going to be your forms. So this is setting up your freebie opt-in and getting people on uh, one of those segments. So you can come in here, add new form. If you don't have a website or you don't wanna add it to your website, um, they have the full page forms, which we're gonna do right now really quickly. And we're gonna choose that summit, or that segment, excuse me. So we'll just choose the client segment that I created, hit save. And then you can finally set up your first design, um, your first opt-in template. So we'll come in here. I'm just gonna upload some random images. Let's see. So we added in the image, then we could go ahead and, and switch all this out. I'm just gonna keep it the same for now. You also have your different fields that you can turn on and off. So first name, last name, and then you can change out a different message that you want them to say. 
and then hit next. This is that double opt-in, so if you customized it and you want them to have to double opt-in, meaning they will get sent an email saying yes, they want to subscribe to your emails before they get sent the first email, then you would click next. Then if you want to be so, uh, notified whenever somebody signs up for your freebie, you can either be notified or do not notify me. And then lastly, you can either display one of those success messages that I showed you on the form itself, or you can redirect them to your own custom URL link. And then hit continue, and then what it's gonna show you is your form. So now you can copy this. This is really good if you are going to be, say, launching your website um, on Instagram and you want people to sign up to get like sneak peeks or behind the scenes. Um, I talk about before you launch in, um, in this video over here and so uh, you can go ahead and watch that video next because that will help you understand like what to do before launching your website and you can utilize this within that launch I talk about what emails to send out when what posts to put when or what posts to post what post to post when <laughs> um, and you can definitely use this full form before launching your website to gather email addresses so that whenever you do launch you can send them emails um, you know talking about your website launch but also pitching them your services so that hopefully you convert some of those warm leads into paying clients I hope you enjoyed this video on you know getting started with Flowdesk and all the things that you need to do to be successful from the very start um, and stick around and watch that before you launch video next.